Yo Crafty, how's the volume? This is gonna to be tough because, yeah, I'm gonna remove the magic walls. Half the people are gonna die. There's just too many monsters. Yep, first one down. Man down. <laughs> it looks like everybody's AFK, or they're, maybe they're just scared. I think they're just scared. It, it does look scary down there. Oh, for sure scared. I mean, I'm, I'm packed in the back. I can't move or even push. Yeah. Hopefully they start moving and stacking up. Heal, heal, heal. Now, now, now. Yeah. Alright, we sorted it. We sorted it. We got couple of super high levels in here so should be quick Oh my game froze. What in the fuck? This has never happened before. Whoa. Yep, it's back now. That was weird. That's Did you survive? Yeah, I've heard of people reporting that at the Abyss's... I mean, at this spot, like Abyss 1. But yeah, it froze for like five seconds maybe. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, but now I'm back. It was one of them like graphical... Um... <laughs> yeah. Zulu says it ruined three PCs for him. I'm not surprised because it just froze me for yep froze me for like a good 10 seconds five seconds but uh, yeah what i did uh probably most older players know but i had to optimize the graphics the spells that happen here so every time a monster if it misses the spell it doesn't show right now it's just showing spells that hit people but back then there'd be like 70 percent more spells on your screen which means more resources taken away from the graphics card and lower FPS, so it was optimized, but it's still kind of fucked, you know, a whole lot of spells happening. Where are you now? Did you go uh, east or west? East, yeah. Gonna go east. Alright, stairs are still kind of blocked up. Might take us a minute to get there. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and try to clear the stairs. There's a lot of Red Rippers, Osiris's, stuff like that. Wow, these Red Rippers are annoying. Yeah, they're like... 50% more annoying version of Osiris. Yeah, they're stupid fast and love to walk. Yep. But I don't know how I walked past the Red Rippers, like, the other high levels. I thought everything was clear, but apparently not, because the 90 prison team is still at the stairs.
Yeah, people are struggling with like a single Red Ripper in here. Basically, from here on, we gotta walk all the way to the east. This is Yalahar, by the way. Yeah, I guess you can recognize that. Do you look at the mini map? Oh, yeah, it is. Does it look like somewhat like this in real Tibby, or is it totally different? Well, when it comes to the monster, totally fucking different. Like, <laughs> uh,. But the the quarter does look the same. Like I, I think this is the like undead or the zoo quarter in uh, real Tibia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, so are we going north or south? Got to go up the stair, the massive stair, and then north. Did you find the stair though? Uh, where's the stair to the? East, all the way to the east. Yeah, yeah. Right here, right here. Over here, guys. Chris, to the east. Do a magic wall though, so they don't. Hit everybody down. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I almost died coming up those stairs. I'm losing my mana as well. I got nothing. Even though I got a goalie lock, these monsters are draining it. No doubt. Yeah, I hope somebody shows up and here heals me, because I'm... Yeah, they're saying R.I.P. to Joel, so that's what's happening. Are these shielded war warriors summons, or are they monsters? I think they're just monsters here. No, 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 yeah. Some of them were monsters, but some of them are the Skyrider Knights, um, summons, yeah. So it's a mixture Jesus of both. Christ, these things are nuts, though. <laughs> yeah.
gladly you got you guys got a nice little flesh wall going up in there, so they're not gonna get through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, until they kill the entire fucking wall. Yep. Did so, you die? So, yeah, what's up? Oh no. So yeah, I was just saying we're heading for a lever, basically. The one of the levers that you gotta open up and uh then we gotta go up down the southern wall where there's a lever as well and once we get those open it opens up this area but that's not enough we gotta go down south to the underground place and kill this mechanical boss that once you kill it it summons a teleport but when we go through the teleport there's another monster right after that that removes the teleport so anybody who comes here later has to go and kill the mechanical boss again Okay, I think I tracked all that. Probably not. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, it's not like the good old Fallen Gods Labyrinth. Yeah, you don't make it easy, but you do make it fun. Yeah. Rick Rubin, Speedy Gonzalez down, or Speedy of Flames. Yeah, Satanic Ritual out here representing the Boondocks. Yeah, I really like that new notification you added for the uh, max test points. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking a lot of people that didn't have those 5,000 max points never understood that you gotta max it out or forgot about it. You know? Right. It's like on your face, and, you know. You, you'll definitely remember to max it out. Although I wonder if you're saving them up for something. You know, that might be an issue because it pops up all the time. Oh, yeah. But I don't think, yeah, I don't know if anybody ever does that, like, just save it up or anything like that. I mean, what, what costs, like, 5,000 points? The, there's, yeah, the re if you reset your resurrections or checkpoints, that's level-based, so some people do have have it at like a high multiple multiple thousands of cost and then there's outcast pass is level based as well but yeah it's like the formula is like multi your level multiplied by two and for the resurrections i think it's like level multiplied by five i, I forgot what i said it to but something like that okay cool cool yeah i was wondering why it was always an odd number Oh yeah, yeah. But it, was it affordable? Like right now, could you afford it with the test points? Oh yeah, yeah. Especially when we're doing this kind of stuff, for sure. You know, I'll I'll check it again after you know we're done with all this. But it wasn't bad last time I looked. Last time I bought it. Yeah.
All right, yeah, let's head back. We pull the lever, so we gotta go down to the southern wall. Basically never get off this wall, just walk back and then south. At least you get a whole team of blockers today. A lot uh, better than yesterday. Oh yeah, this whole fucker is surrounded. Even Lord Sandstorm's like, fuck it man, I'm a mage and I'm just gonna block it. Oh yeah, he is like a druid, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Although he's healing us, which is good. Like We can just spam spells while he, he's like, taking care of the healing. And he can heal heavy. That man heals heavy. Lay off the fish scale, dog. <laughs> what is Zulu talking about? He likes flowers and sunshine? Oh, yeah. But we gotta go back. Turn back, guys. Yeah, it's funny, I wonder who invented the fact that doing caps lock means you're yelling, you know? Never thought about that. Oh, you didn't know it means, like, yelling or something? No, I'm saying, like, I never thought about who invented it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> people are like, it's uppercase, it's loud. Yeah, we gotta go south here. South. People are running the wrong way. Zulu's going the wrong way. He's leading the whole fucking team to... Team to we don't. Team to You alive, Chris? Yeah. Yeah, the quest was too much. You know, I'd like to see it where everybody gets good enough to where we don't have a single death through all this crazy shit. Oh yeah, I, I swear there's never ever been a single questing session where nobody dies. Like, just not. Like, it, it is, yeah. I, I think it's impossible. Like, I, yeah, but, yeah, I think you make it pretty impossible. Yeah. I don't know. It, it is kind of by design, you know? 
Yeah. Uh, stupid fun, though. Yeah. Because there's always... Even if none of the high levels die, there's always some level 200 dude who's like, I want to be in the front line, and then he just gets <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> you get your Rick Rubens. Yeah, exactly. That Rick Rubin fucker, dude. Exactly. He's a brave warrior, that man. Yeah, the other day he was like, I'm a 300 ET. I can, I can do this. Yeah. Leading the pack. Rick the dick. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's still there. I think this Rick Rubin dude is still there in the back. Could have sworn he left. Nah, man, this line's just long. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some loot there if you guys want to pick it up. I think like 70% of the people that are in the quest today were not there yesterday. I see a lot of like fresh names. Yeah, yeah there are quite a few. Oh, so you guys talked about it. Now, uh, Rick's dead. <laughs> Karma. Fucking breathed it into an existence. Is that the first time you died? It's not me. I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, I'm going twice. I'm surprised. I've been doing really good. Now that I say something, though, out loud, I'll probably die. But I haven't died yet. Dead. <laughs> Especially with these vermies. Did you watch, uh, yeah, yeah, Satanic Ritual wants to know if you guys watched, uh, either of you watched, uh, Trailer Park Boys. Oh, best show ever. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I, I love the, who's the fucking, the, Jim, the, the police officer. Jim Leahy. Jim Leahy, <laughs> Jim Leahy yeah. yeah. Jim Leahy, man. With the liquor demon. With the shit. liquor and the shits. It's a shit NATO, Randy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is a great series I, I think i watched it twice actually but the second time it, it was you know it was still good but it felt like repetitive and the first time i missed the whole petition yeah there's a lot of like spin-offs i mean it's the same people in a series but they got one where they're like in jail the whole series and shit like that a lot of like mini 
versions of it. And movies as yeah. well. Yeah, they have cartoons now, too. I don't know if you've watched the cartoon. Yeah, the cartoon I've definitely not watched, but I've seen the movies and the like other mini series and stuff like that. Yeah, the original, that's the best. I, I really like it. For sure. Yeah, 100%. You're out there hooking for cheeseburgers, Randy. Who's the, who's the dude with them glasses? I forgot his name. Bubbles. Yeah, Bubbles. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Do they actually have SwearNet? Like, is that an actual website? The one the network that they have in the in the series. Yeah, I don't know. That was like one of my favorite series that they did. The SwearNet. I forgot about that when they eat like the blue fucking shit and start tripping. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember about that now. So one of the characters quit the show, right? Like Lucy? I don't actually like... Yeah, I don't remember who Lucy was, but I remember the whole thing. Like somebody quit the series and people disappeared and like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Lucy quit because, uh, I don't know, uh, Bubbles actually had like, uh, some shit against him in court against like some lady or something. Damn for like verbal abuse. I, I don't think it was sexual abuse. I think it was like verbal, but you know. What other series are there that are just as legendary? There's um. Oh, fuck. You don't watch cartoons, but there's a there's a show called Mr. Pickles about a satanic dog. Right. That that concept sounds pretty nice. Oh man, it's so fucked up. I think I missed out on a whole lot because I people thought I was weird. I remember all my life, like everybody in here watched South Park, and I was like, I don't watch cartoons. Now I get it. I get it. Like, yeah, I was retarded. That's the thing. <laughs> not, not, there was there was nothing wrong with the cartoons. There was everything wrong with me. But yeah, hey, it's the cartoons in your country, man. I can see why you don't watch that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking Spider-Man translations and shit. They did such a bad job. You could tell that guy didn't care about his job at all. Oh, yeah. For anybody that doesn't know, there's like a Finnish Spider-Man used to be um, translated slash dubbed by this company called uh, like a like a racing team or something. There's like a scene where Spider-Man falls off a roof, and all he's all they do in the whole dub is like uh it's like the most monotone like like. But maybe it's possible. What if the dubbing the dude who dubbed it it's just like didn't give a fuck about life they told him like gives your best emotions show us how you'd be if you fell off a roof. Yeah. that was truly how he'd be it you was know? <laughs> just saying like, this this i don't give a fuck yo like he wanted yeah. to fall off the roof it, i don't know man could be anything 
Yeah. Yeah, you should definitely link that in your Discord for people to watch. I don't know. It's funny in its own right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hit him up with it for sure. Yeah. Crafty just talked about Happy Tree Friends. It's What's just that? fucking. Oh, man. It's about these, like, furry woodland creatures that, like, uh,. They just kill each other or like have like accidents, but they die in like the goriest way ever. Right. <laughs> and they're just like these cute little bubbly cartoons, you know? Yeah. They are yeah. funny as fuck. I have like, I feel like there's, I can't believe like there's so many cartoons that are supposedly good. <laughs> yeah. Because you haven't watched any. Have you watched South Park before? I have, like, yeah, random episodes, like, just by sheer luck, you know? Like, that's pretty much it. I did watch uh, Rick and Mar Morty with my friend, but uh, I don't remember much about it. I just remember, like, the, the whole cartoon they are trying to play with my mind. That's what I remember thinking about yeah. the whole time. Like, they're just fucking with me here. Like, what is this? It was good though. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's smart and you know very involved. You know, but that was hyped up, right? Like it, I, all I could hear for years was Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it got too big for its own good at one point, I believe. I think it died down a little bit now, but yeah. Which way did you go, Joel? South? Yes, yeah, southwest, kind of. Um, okay, you here, here you are. Oh, yeah, you guys are still there. Yeah, just go south from here. Yeah, people are kind of taking their time killing all the monsters. Nice. Yeah, well, because they kill us if <laughs> some of us are pretty low. Yeah. What's up, Satanic? He's trying to get your attention. Satanic ritual. What'd he do? What oh, is Paradise PD. Oh my god, that show is fucked. It only gets worse. Is that something like Trailer Park Boys or something? Reno. What's that? Reno 9. What's up? The Paradise PD. What, what's that about? Oh, um, it, it's about like these, uh, a group of like misfit cops in a town called Paradise. You know, uh, they're patrolmen for for that city. But like, oh man, just the, the shit they cover in there is fucked up like just hillbilly smoking crack all the time and <laughs> right. I don't is know. that real though like is it like one cartoon or is it something realistic? yeah it's a it's a cartoon but okay. it, i don't know it, no no humor is actually like i don't know off limits for them oh yeah that's awesome like they go to really fucked up lengths really fucked up and it's on netflix yeah yeah yeah, Netflix does allow a whole lot of shit, which is awesome. You know, they're not like all Christian and fucking going yeah. full Jesus freak and stuff like that. They're fucking uh, satanic ritual uh, brought up the fact that uh, Paradise's PD's badge logo is a butthole. It's a zoomed in butthole. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Damn, I got some somber boots. Are those any good? Yeah, you should. I think it's needed for the Dark Warrior setup. Or somber armor or the somber boots. 
couldn't tell you which one, but either one, maybe both, maybe both. Oh yeah, Crafty hit me with the info. Both boots and the armor, so save it. Have you ever seen that documentary about them dudes growing weed in like Northern California in the woods, in the mountains? Fucking Bigfoot something. Oh yeah, no, I haven't watched that. But yeah, I it seemed interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it was like finding Bigfoot or something. It was really awesome. It was based on something like somebody came, came up, some showed up somewhere, saying they got fucking mauled by a Bigfoot. But it turned out it was just a bunch of weed growers, you know, <laughs> protecting no their land or some some crazy like that. I don't know, but it was an exciting documentary. I'm, I remember watching it last summer. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that one out then. Yeah, who's Kevin Spencer, man? Lord Sandstorm, who is that? I've never heard of Kevin Spencer. You ever heard of uh, Kevin Spencer cartoons? No, no. That's a new one to me. Yeah, Sandstorm is swearing by them. He's like, they're the best. I'll definitely check them out. Is it like a single guy who makes them, or? Crafty knows it, I think. Do you guys know the Richard Carey? <laughs> That's the only cartoons I know. Richard Carey's Incredible World. I have no idea who that is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's dumb. Can we get a statue, Crafty? I think a lot of these people have died already. Yeah, I think yeah, I really, I think like, I... fuck myself by not watching cartoons. I, I don't know what went in it. I, I don't remember how it all started, but I've always been like that. But I had, yeah, see the thing, the difference between me and all the folk watching cartoons was that I had fucking DC++ and I was downloading all the movies that I could ever want and other people weren't so I had access to like unlimited movies and it just feels like if you can pick between a movie and a drawn up show you just pick a movie that's I remember that kind of being my thought process back in the day like if I can pick and I had infinite movies on my PC back in the good old days so. oh yeah back when BitTorrent was running hot yeah yeah back then, back doing, then. yeah doing terabytes of shit <laughs> yeah but it's just always seemed like you know there's I don't know yeah how about a statue crafty oh you put it what in front of all the monsters <laughs> yeah he's like Go get it, motherfucker. Yeah, he's like, you guys gotta go get it. Crafty, you're such a dick. Crafty told me I'd be fine if I die. I'm suing your server. Oh, yeah. A lot of lawyers lined up. 
Yeah, Zulu's gonna be my war- lawyer. Yeah, is this still a thing oh, back there, like people suing everybody for random reasons? Because I remember it at least from like maybe 20 years ago, the idea was like if you're in the States, you could sue anybody for anything and win big. Yeah, that's yeah, still can. a thing. Yeah, like, I don't know, you kind of have to be careful with that shit. It can win, too. That's the scary part. I don't know. There's no downside to suing people because you can't, like, counter sue just for them suing you. Right. Like, if they sue you for anything stupid, you can't, like, sue them for being an idiot and suing you wrongfully. Right. Yeah. No. They can either, like, the worst case scenario, they lose. I think there was a, a kid with, like, the most lawsuits in New York, and he had, like, over 15,000 personal lawsuits against people. What in the fuck? No idea how many he actually won, but probably enough to where he doesn't have to work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't go down here unless you want to die. Down the Thanks for the down. heads up. Holy shit, bro. Now, did you guys super raid this one as well? Or super spawn this as well? Yeah, no. This is like by default. Just like this. <laughs> this is just how this one is. Yeah, this was actually harder. Or not harder, but more annoying. You know the Zapter? It's like the Zapter boss that runs yeah. away on low HP. It was full of Zapters, and people were like... They, they just they were just like yeah i'm stupid for creating it and i was like okay i admit i'm retarded and then i had to remove a couple of them zafters but now, yeah now it's like bearable on the ground level but underground it's still kind of crazy yeah yeah i was about to say this isn't bearable at all like i don't know <laughs> yeah. and then there's you haven't even seen the boss probably there's a boss called the zarptorius that's like even worse than Zapter. Fucking. Sums, really? Yeah, yeah. It runs away in low HP and it sums all the weird kind of low end bosses and all that. I'm glad I'm not hosting Outcast from the States because I'd be getting sued for causing thousands of people epileptic seizures from all these fucking flashing lights. Yeah, no shit. What kind of weird stuff do people still get sued for over there? Just like, is it like some sort of insult stuff or like harassment or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> 
I haven't seen a single quest where fully retarded hasn't gone fully retarded on us. <laughs> so many different teams in different directions right now oh yeah oh the kevin spencer cartoons about a canadian teenager heavy smoker alcoholic and a and a anti tussive addict Paint inhaler, so see <laughs> this sounds like a nice combo. I'd watch it. <laughs> I'd watch it too. Isn't anti tussive like uh, cuff medicine? Yeah, tussin. Yeah. Don't you have a GM tussin on your server? <laughs> I heard, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know anybody that used to inhale paint? No, I, I've never personally known anybody who did that, but it, I've watched somebody in uh, Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin, uh, huffing it in a, uh, a, a laundry mat. Wow. Yeah, that lady was like, oh, it looked great. She looked like she was having a great time. <laughs> right. Yeah, I heard that's not good for your brain. <laughs> if you do that too yeah, often. Not sure. <laughs> Who would have known? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this shit got intense. Yeah, and he's already going down one level, and we haven't even gotten rid of all these Wizard of Gamma. Oh, shit. Is that you? No. I'm in my own private room right now watching everybody die. Me too. <laughs> Where are you guys at, though? I don't see anybody upstairs. but Zulu here. Uh, go west. Uh, upstairs. Oh, wait. You probably already went down, didn't you? Just go down from all the stair holes go down yeah should be safe safer than it is up here <laughs> yeah. crafty fucking gm of the year month millennium yeah just invited novak too we might be saved we are saved and andrew's coming here so we get the whole gang you're just running this whole fucking quest, bro. <laughs> yeah. You're like, fuck these noobs. Where did you guys go? South. If, there, if you see any type of stair hole, just walk into it and we're right there.
motherfucking cannabis, man. Oh yeah, the good old cannabis derpidus. There's plenty of them too. This is probably the fastest we've ever gone through this part. Like usually it just takes forever. The cannabis is cannabis is or it just on everybody it takes forever to kill. Nice, yeah. Um, I magic wall the um, the guardian lily that removes the teleport. Oh, somebody got loot. Oh shit, rune of homestead. See, finally we got loot during a questing session, and the loot was rune of homestead. <laughs> yeah. The least used rune out of all the paid runes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, for me, I don't know. It probably is. Oh, it's the fourth drop? Okay. Titanic Ritual was saying it's the fourth drop. Maybe we did drop more stuff. It's possible. I actually didn't pay any attention to the vlog. Have you guys, it, yeah, Mariana said like this only lootable set. It's quite rare for most people. All of her high levels, it's not that way yet. Apparently, some of those dropped from the boss, set, but I missed it. Did you guys see it? I didn't, no. No, <laughs> yeah, Marek, <laughs> this is actually funny, Marek on Twitch is saying, are we fucking live or is this one of them recording scams like Pixelmon 70 million scheme with the Minecraft <laughs> Yeah, Pixelmon. Dude, Pixelmon, I'm glad he brought it up, man. Yeah, we're going for Pixelmon in here. Not, not really, I'm just, I gotta take that back, we're not, but... Yeah, yeah, this is live. This is for sure live. We're live, man. And Pixelmon, they pulled the fucking greatest scheme ever, man. They, th them motherfucker raised $70 million with their NFTs. And once the day of the reveal happened, everybody seen the fucking monstrosity that they created. It, it looked a thousand times, thousand times worse than Tibia. It looked like uh, the worst paint job ever. It, it's just, I, I got no words for it. It was just terrible. Yeah. yeah, if anybody can prove that they were in Pixelmon, I think you should give them a free Berserker ring, because they deserve it. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Anybody? Yeah, let me know. Airdropping Berserker rings tonight only. <laughs> yeah, airdropping Berserker rings. <laughs> but that's crazy, but... Look, that is the Merrick. You, we, me and you, we've talked about this crypto thing before. It just goes to show you that there is opportunity for an actual game to hit it big in crypto. If you got a, an actual thing going on, if you got something real, you know? When I get that 70 mil with a real thing rather than one of them fucked up looking monstrosities. You know? Right, yeah. Oh my god, did not live up to what they, they showed. That oh, shit yeah. was insane. Yeah, people got so pissed off. They they just lost their shit. Everybody lost their shit. 
and they lost their investments too, which is the worst part of all of it. Yeah, like, let me buy this NFT, man. It's probably gonna be cool. It's gonna cost one Ethereum. When it's revealed, it's like 0 0.001 Ethereum. Yeah, no shit. Dude, how pissed would you be if you bought an NFT and then, like, because they're not as liquid as cryptocurrency. You can't just sell it. Like, it has to be auctioned off. And then if all those people dump money into it, and then it's just worthless. <laughs> exactly. Like, because OpenSea, like, it, I guess most people are trading that with the Pixel Mom thing happened on open sea it is kind of illiquid right like you're actually like the the actual worth of things can just disappear at the blink of an eye and suddenly your whole pixel mon collection is worth nothing yeah yeah because it's not even based on a floor i mean on a market cap at that point you know you have to worry about the floor it's only what people want to be in it you know for i don't know it's so such it's a lot more fickle than just crypto yeah it is it is and that's why one of the i found a thread on twitter that was explaining the whole pixelmon thing and one of the pictures was indeed the worth just going down like on the day of the release when people saw that thing they were like fuck no i'm out and that's like if you're auctioning something you just panic right you're like okay i can't sell this for one ethereum anymore i gotta sell it for 0.5 and then you just lower it and lower it and lower it until somebody finally buys it yeah no and that's why that shit's so scary to me i don't know There's very few NFTs I'd actually invest in. What would you invest in if you had to pick something right now? One of them, like, popular ones, like the ape ones? Eh, probably not. I don't know. I, I would pick something that does have, like, a utility in the game or some sort of passive income. I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't stick to, like... Like, you know, the board apes, I mean, I do think the artwork looks good, but basically you're paying for a JPEG at that point. I don't know, okay. in my opinion. Oh, yeah, know. yeah. When, when you kind of start thinking about it, it is just a picture, man. What if I take a print screen of it because I just like it? You know, if you just like the picture, you don't have to buy it. You know, you can just look at it, print screen. But if you want to, yeah, there's a there's a lot of aspects to it. You know, what, what do you want? Is it beneficial? Is it useful? Does it have utility or yeah. is it just a JPEG? You know, like, I, I don't know. I want at least a little bit of utility with my, I don't care if it's just a hat in the game or whatever, but you know, I want something. I don't just want a JPEG. Yeah. Exactly. That's where I think it started off. That's the weird part, right? Like NFT started off with the whole just being a JPEG until people really understood that there can be real utility. Selling tickets, selling ownership of things, actually giving royalties to the creator automatically. There's a lot of nice stuff in that, you know? There, there is. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, I mean, you know, if you make the NFT... Like, you know, not even artwork is like that, where they get a percentage of the next time it's sold. Oh, yeah, yeah. But so I think, is, but I, 
Yeah, what's up? Oh, no. What were you going to say? I was just going to say, is this whole Yalahar map like this? Or is there, like, any chill spots? Oh, yeah. Where it's Most, not so... Yeah, mostly it's for hunting. There's Yalahar Dark Mountains. It's chill. It's for hunting. A Yalahar Incan Empire. It's for hunting. Yalahar Mayan ruins it's for hunting but then there's the these parts that we're at are yalahar abysses of kerner which are like crazy like quest areas that people you know that are not chill at all you know <laughs> they're just like but yeah about nfts i think that's where the bubble popped right for a moment or it didn't yet because people just part started buying all them jpegs for a lot of money and you know the reality is they're not the ones that are worth a lot of money but instead the ones with utility actual use case are the worthy ones you know yeah yeah like i bought into one you know uh that actually pays passive reward i don't know i enjoy that just like every week i get i get a little bit oh yeah yeah that, that makes sense that makes sense it is kind of like uh, buying like a stock that pays you off monthly, like dividends or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, like right now I only make you know like maybe six hundred dollars a year off this one, but actually more than that, more like twelve hundred a year off this one. But you know, I, it's shit. I'll take it. Oh yeah, for sure. That is good. You know, and it's actually a rev share, so the more they make, the more it goes up. Oh yeah, there's so, so there's like an incentive to like support the project that's NFT you got and push it further because it does benefit you as well. It is kind of like owning a share of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But instead, it's more in a static way, right? Like a stock could just be volatile or a crypto related to the project could be really volatile. But if you do get like a guaranteed revenue share of the prod from the project, it is like, it's more stable in a way. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a, that's a good way to look at it too. I never even looked at it that way, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, because as long as there's revenue, you just get a share of it. You know, like like you said, stocks are more volatile. They go up and down all, all fucking day. Yeah, like I know a couple of projects that I've talked about, like ZRX, ZeroX project. It's one of those like, man, if I could get a slice of their volume that they do or the revenue or the fees that they generate from their project, you know, I'd be good, but you know, they're the token that is related to their project is just volatile. It goes up and down and hundred percent, five hundred percent up and then down ninety percent. And you're like, what the fuck is going on here? While the project itself is just garnering and gaining more value all the time. But if it was like an NFT where you get a specific percentage of their gains or revenue, that'd be sweet. Or like staking. I think they had staking for a while, but that didn't you know work out because Ethereum with their fucked up eight hundred dollars. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, this is one of them areas that it's getting tough. Even with the goalie lock, I often die here multiple times. But now we got Novak and Andrew on the front line. We got Lucifer, Sun, Satanic Ritual, Hell Wow. Got plenty of people here. So we're pretty covered. But usually this would be like extremely hard. I think it gives like a false sense of perception of how hard it actually is here. You know, because we got crazy team with all kinds of fucking rings and protection and stuff like that.
Yeah, my boy Marek. All right, I gotta go get some water. Could somebody heal me for a moment? I got the worst cotton mouth. I need some liquids. All right, I'm back. Everybody die, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised at all. This is not fit for anybody like sub level 1k, basically. You say that as you go to get water casually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't I'm say gonna water. Get some water. Yeah. I, I didn't say water. I just said liquid that came out of maybe like a 20 year old barrel. Oh man, some of that smoked whiskey, huh? Yeah. Gets rid of the cotton mouth. I'd hide up some stairs right now, but I'm afraid I'd die. <laughs> I gotta go wait on a pizza. <laughs> There's no safe place in this quest. There's just nothing. Not a single spot. Anywhere you think you're running away, but really you're just running towards more danger at all time. That makes total sense. Shit, I think I ran out of UH. That's probably why I died. Right. Hey, Crafty, can you take me to, uh, like, DP or something? Novak can throw them SDs, but he worked hard, man, like... Previously, that character was owned by Tyrion, and Tyrion put on a fucking show at his training month. Spent like a long time to get them, get that magic level 15. There's a knight with magic level 15 on your server. Yeah, but then I did what any any sensible man would do, and I nerfed SD zone knights. Would piss if two knights that had the ability to SD off but you know it was for the best because they started seeming way too strong oh i bet no nah, it took a long time yeah Tyrion, satanic yeah it took a long time for Tyrion to get the magic level 15. he had a way though that that's not available anymore i think he used exorio 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 was the spell that would shoot one square meter of exori only backwards and if you pointed it at a wall you could spam it without exhaust and if you had 10 characters manning you all the time yeah that means a whole lot of magic levels really fast Oh yeah, yeah. He had like 
four, like nine. Yeah, nine characters manning his main character. That's fucking crazy. Who would even commit to do... Those are true friends right there. <laughs> yeah, I died. Andrew died as well, probably. I've seen him on Red HP. Riz me, Andrew. I ran out of Goldie. That makes sense. Yep. Thank you. I've talked about like questing without Goldies for so long, but I I'm legitimately like addicted to them. I I need like rehab or something. I can't play with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it also sucks. Like how many you use versus how many you actually get hunting. You know, oh. like you, you can't stay positive because I mean, you know, like we got what thirty, maybe twenty people here hunting and we still haven't dropped one <laughs> yeah that is true yeah yep it is it's truly a deflationary currency This is... Nobody's hunted this by themselves, have they? There's no fucking way. There are, like... I know Andrew and Novak come here. They're like... You know, <laughs> they're not wearing goalies. They just pop up in here and they do their thing. There's a couple of other dudes as well. This area is big. There's like a cellar area with like extremely hard monsters that are great EXP. So, yeah. People want to go there, but it's hard to get there, you know? This such a this whole area is like a city with houses but all the houses are full of bosses and, and if somebody tried to complete the quest they might have summoned even more bosses around the place so it's always like totally you know some unexpected shit happens but this is one of them quests where you know like yeah you see lucifer's son and satanic ritual both Goddamn 666 fellas died right there. Lord Sandstorm as well. Yeah, that stairway actually is a place where a lot of people have like, you know, if you kill a monster and it drops a rare loot, right? But but it's got so many monsters. There's there's no way you can get to the body. So a lot of people have like lost rare loot just because of that. That exact stair case right there. Oh yeah, no, I bet. Yeah, because your bodies do decay really fast on the server, too. It's not like they, they slowly degrade over time. Yeah. It's they, they go, you know. Yeah, there's some bodies that do that. Like Wizard of Visualities does that. Um, Zarpter Body does that. There's a bunch of them that do that. Like real fast decay. Yeah, I think that's what had happened to me with the wizard of, you know, visuals or whatever. I got, I got a semi-rare loot. I was like, oh, sweet, you know. And, like, by the time the magic wall went down, it was over. <laughs> yeah. I bet these low levels are getting a whole lot of a lot of EXP though in the back. Even though they're dying, like it's gotta be crazy EXP. Yeah, no, for sure they're dying. What about you? Have you gotten a lot of levels? 
Yeah, actually, uh, I'd say I've, I've probably gotten uh, close to 20 since I've been here. Nice. And I haven't even hit, uh, hit a statue in a while. How yeah. about a statue, uh, Crafty? Yeah, Crafty. Where's the statue? I died. I, I got no statue. I'm losing all levels. Yeah, I even forgot I died. Actually, he made, yeah. There was a statue when I died out. Yeah, and I clicked it. Yeah, there. People were trying to slip $5 bills in crafty bras, you know, just to get a statue. <laughs> yeah, no shit. that statue again. Yeah, although I don't know how anybody in the back ever dies, because the monsters are here up front. Okay, I see what's going on. Shit, there's a bunch back here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I see them like slowly just moving in the back. You know, they first they're attacking us and then they're attacking the second dude and yeah, I see what's going on. Yeah, they move back in like waves. All I can say is this game in 2010 was definitely not like this. <laughs> yeah. How'd you upgrade max points in this so fucking fast? You got like 45 tax points, task points for these things. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we're constantly killing them, like, at all times. Scrafty. Yeah, people are on survival mode.
this was harder than I remembered. Because we're... I'm, I think the only one that didn't die was like Hellwow, uh, Andrew, and Novak. Everybody else is down, got down at least once. For sure. What about that Rick Rubin fella? Is he... The Book of the Living? I don't know where Rick Rubin is right now. Where is he? Eaton. Uh, well, eat a draconis eggs and move your fucking ass. You said that there's a stronger version of Lily 2 than the small one? Yeah, it's it's called just the Lily, like Lily. And it's like the, you know in Tibby there's the gray big wolf? I don't know what it's called, but that's the one. Uh, the werewolf? Yeah, the werewolf, yeah. Is that nice. the werewolf, really? I'd have to see it, but I think so. Well, does it have like shorts on or no? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Oh, the yeah. okay. It's it's the war wolf. Did you say the oh. werewolf? With yeah, the there's, shorts there's on? a yeah, there's like a <laughs> werewolf with shorts on in real tibia. No but yeah, shit. I remember the war wolf now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So really, they get a werewolf in Tibia now. Oh yeah. Shorts. Yeah. They have like a vampire princess bride too, and shit like that. They got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of undead stuff now. to Diablo though yeah cause I I remember people loved like Diablo 1 but after that it was like fuck them yeah Diablo uh Diablo 2 was still great they just re-released Diablo 2 actually was it good or is it like uh, redone graphics or something yeah, they mildly read. It seemed kind of lazy to me, but it was, it was still fun to play with updated graphics. But I mean, they literally just like applied a new overlay to it and just rounded out some of the pixels, and that's it. <laughs> right. It's like a even money all this. Grab. To be honest, like it's it's just a money grab. Right? Yeah, 
Yeah, they missed that World of Warcraft money that they were getting for years. There's supposed to be a Diablo 4 coming out. But is Diablo like... Isn't it like a, is it like a more like a single player game or how is it? Do you like uh, there, like there's multiplayer modes. Uh, you can play online. Like that's uh, really the only way to get some of like the rarest items is to do it in a party and stuff. Okay, yeah. So it is some somewhat like Tibby in a way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you need quite as many people, especially like your server. You know, like you need a ridiculous amount of people for this shit. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you know. Plus, we need crafty. Not everybody got yeah. crafty. Facts. I need to organize my BPs better. Oh, yeah. they, they need crafty in Diablo 4. <laughs> yeah. That would make it so much better. Yeah. you ever play uh, Titan Quest or Grim Dawn? No, no, what are those about? Yeah, they're kind of like Diablo. I remember playing Titan Quest with my girl. I, I, I don't remember much about it, but it was just a fun game. It was like Diablo type of thing a long time ago. Huh, I'll have to check that out because you have never heard of that. <laughs> not RuneScape. I, I was talking about Titan Quest. It was like a... I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know what the genre is or anything. Just a exploring adventure type game? Yeah, like you'd go through areas and then get some items and, and develop your character and, you know, stuff like that. RuneScape. Chris was super into that for a while. Really? Yeah. I, I yeah. never got into RuneScape. It was fun at a time. A very brief moment in time, I'd say. You know. But, yeah, it could be. It had the capacity to be fun, you know, because you could mine and, like, make armors and stuff. You know. Yeah, I remember my friends always. They would always play games. They would always play like World of Warcraft, RuneScape. I never got into it because I had Outcast since I was a little kid. But yeah, I remember they were like mining gold all the time and then yeah, shit like that. It seemed fun though. You know, everybody was enjoying it. And now they got like old school RuneScape servers, right? Because people started petitioning for that bring back the old runescape and then they did shit I, I yeah i mean e even even tibia did that you know like people wanted uh dragon drop runes like your server again and they they did it. they have old servers yeah but they weren't the the old old ones that people wanted yeah because they want yeah, people wanted like 7.4 where you get to abuse everybody and anybody at any time right and they brought back like some weird version or modification of it. Yeah, yeah, like it's it's like current graphics and that's what people people didn't want that. Yeah. There's gotta be some reason that they didn't bring back the old graphics. Maybe they don't have the rights for it or maybe they do and they just don't want to do it. But it wouldn't be that hard, you know, because it's not that many graphics in 7.6. 
Yeah, well, between uh, between 7.6 and 8.0, uh, 8.0 was the start of like them selling uh, the rights. And I think you might be right, because I think that was under the old people. Yeah. Might want to bring Rick Rubin here. Oh yeah, he got bugged out. Yeah, we actually ended up doing two graves. It was just too smooth. say too smooth <laughs> yeah. was that, was that an the, error all the dead bodies strewn <laughs> yeah. about your map yeah. <laughs> yeah. crafty crafty got fucking arthritis from all this yeah i don't know if it was too smooth after all but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure like a thousand deaths We're gonna figure out something for you though, Crafty. Automate that a little bit for you. Oh yeah. But it used to be that we have to had to individually teleport everything back. Then we developed a resurrection system, then we developed something that he, we could click on, you know, we'd just be clicking people's bodies on the GMs, then eventually I just made a command that would resurrect anybody who's in the resurrection chamber at the same time to the GM so he could like get everybody there who's sitting in the chamber at once oh no shit yeah 